Here is my Ibanez 524 mandolin. I want to show you this video to show you all the details. Tailpiece on this is very nice. No marks. The top of the body, I don't see any marks on it. I just cleaned it off with a nice soft rag. The pick guard isn't even really scratched up. So we got all nice clean on the top. Let's take a look at the bottom here. This is all clean. All the binding looks nice on it. There's a couple little marks here where this pick guard was put on. Let's take note of that. Right here. Just one hole. Pick guard's nice on it. There's a ding on the back here. This is what I really wanted to try to show. It's very difficult to see. But let's see if we can get a little shot here. There's a hair line crack on the back of this. Let's see if I can get you a nice picture here. I don't think it affect. there's no stability problems or anything like that. Just want to make sure you're aware. This is the early only flaw I see on the mandolin. There you go. It only goes to about right here. The back is all very, very nice and clean also. I, I'm not sure which finish this is the antique or th what but very very nice and clean very very few marks on the back we got a couple marks up here on the neck and I'm sure that's from a capo Can you see that just on that top part the keys are all real nice they're all original of course tunes up nice. Here's the serial number. If you can see it. There you go. There's the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, this is in good shape. And this is another issue I want to show you on the guitar. I think this is the classical. It's got some veneer damage on the headstock. I think this is where somebody put their cigarette on there. So it's just a little it's all solid you can see there's a little bubble up there okay so that's the only other issues the uh, the neck looks fine and I'll see if I can give you this one little sound here <laughs> 